The food we eat has the power to bring friends, families, and even complete strangers together. It introduces us to new cultures. It provides comfort and sustenance, feeding our souls as well as our bodies. Some people can take simple ingredients and weave them into complex stories through their food. We call these people iconic chefs, and today we're meeting one in Penang, Malaysia. This is Ayu, the owner and chef at Kuali's Nusantara Kitchen. In the three short years it's been open, she's gained quite a reputation here in Penang. She's fanatic about the freshness and quality of her food. Every morning I will hit the market, wet market, to get fresh proteins and uh, fresh ingredients, fresh items, you know, so that I will be able to produce our customers with a uh, fresh ingredients. It's quite tough because every morning without miss. So if you come, you come coming say, Sky, I'm coming immediately and I'm very sorry, there's no stock in my fridge. I started uh, this Qualis uh, 2019, uh, I could say it's during the pandemic and um, I put a stop saying that I should try something in life. I started with home cooking, uh, deliver food and coincident it was during the fasting month for Muslim and I took a chance uh, to provide uh, food to the homeless and also to the, uh, the doctors that always, you know, the frontliners I could say that helps us a lot. People keep on asking me why I use a Q instead of K because even it's spelled in Bahasa K U A L I that is what and I use Q as a quality uh, on my food and a journey of my mom and my dad the the love towards me. The operation hours for daily uh, business, Monday till Saturday, it starts from 11 until 3. That is um, serving the nasi campur variety of uh, dishes. But Ayu's day isn't over yet. Almost every night she caters dinners by pre-booked reservation only. She has a big group tonight and we were lucky enough to get a spot. She invited us along for her second market trip of the day to pick up fresh ingredients for the dinner shift. For dinner, you may call me in advance, at least two days in advance, to pre-booking. I need around uh, eight packs, uh, then we will customize, or I could say omakase style, Malay omakase. So you can call me and, and request whatsoever dishes that you want. Uh, let's say you want fish, then I will explain to you and I will discuss with you what what type of uh, method of cooking uh, would it be nice for your dinner? I've got this, and I've got this for you as well. Ah, is that lala? No, kera, kera, kakar, kakar. There's one, two, three. That, so that you can suck. You know how to kill it? Nope. You know how to kill it? How hard can it be? You smash it upside the head, right? No, there is a way to kill it. 
We don't use this part, but some of the restaurants they kept it this part. I don't really like it. of uh, green chili, a small green chili and a small red chili and I'm going to do, um, we call it masak lemak but this is my way, this is how I'm doing it back, as I said, back to Negeri Milan, they have their own way doing it and I'm putting this uh, Muni, cari belimbing dalam tu sat Type of eggplant? What's it called again? Berlin Bay. Later we find out. <laughs> First time I'm hearing of it. If you go to Negris Milan, you love to cook this with all kinds of meat. We call it asam keping. I don't know, what no is it, a mushroom? It's not mushroom, no? it's a sandwich, um, oh, my brain. So she pulled a couple of these out just to see if they're done here and she just showed me how to do this. Apparently, you're supposed to take it, just suck it right out of the shell. That is unbelievable. And I'm not crazy about snails as a genre, but the sauce in that is a little bit spicy and tasting the fresh chilies that went into that bowl. Me, myself, I am a lazy bum at home <laughs> during my childhood time. So uh, I started this uh, cooking after 25 years. In, uh, yeah, 25 years and uh, then I lost my mom. And there is a time all of us in a family, we miss her food so much. We do miss her food so much. So what I did was, um, Mom, I miss you. In a dream. <laughs> Sounds ridiculous, but this is true. I request in a dream says that, Ma, orang rindu sangat masakan Ma. That means, Ma, I miss your cooking. So, yeah, day by day, I keep on practicing, practicing, practicing until I get the touch. So, most of the, the cooking that I brought in is uh, my childhood time that I, I love to eat. We call it Jernaha. Chili powder. Of, uh, you like spicy, right? Yeah, spicy, spicy. Yeah. A bit of, uh, what do you call this? Chili, chili, uh, ginger, lemon grass. And I'm putting the yogurt. Instead of using the uh, coconut milk,
Ayu's kitchen is organized and spotless. Here, she's busy and has several dishes cooking at once, but she always takes the time to clean everything in between each and every step. It's just one more way that she shows her dedication to the absolute quality of her food. Remember just now we, we, when we were at the market, we told the uncle and we bought this? Yes. And I'm going to use this. Onion, sliced onion, and curry leaf. All right, here I'm going to add a bit of uh, chili powder. Ta -da! And I'm gonna use this. You're good. Normally they will uh, steam or they will soak it with the hot water first. The uh, crab and uh, I didn't do it because it's a fresh crab. So I still want to have you guys to try the uh, the fresh meat. All right. So I'm gonna finalize with this sesame. Uh, the part just now our uh, how do you say the fire is quite big and once you reach this area you need to slow down the uh, fire and I'm putting the uh, main meat on top I'm mixing the uh, four angry beans with uh, sticky beans And inside, I already put two egg, two nose of egg, and one kg of uh, flour. And that's milk. Milk. My pina. Uh, you know, oil. Turmeric powder. Santara Kitchen uh, uh, because of I can conquer all kind of cuisine. I can uh, use uh, Thai, Thai cuisine, Indonesian, and a bit of Indian. You know, pick on my previous uh, restaurant where I I used to manage. I use it as authentic Malay cuisine. But this round on my own business, I use Kualis Nusantara Kitchen. Hi. Oh, wow. How are you today? <laughs> <laughs> um, Alright, cool. Do you mind? No, please. Tell me to stop or else I will stop. Just a little bit more. He's eating all the rice. Alright, cool. <laughs> Alright, this is an absolute feast that she has prepared for us here. And first thing before everything gets too cold here is I am going to go after the balidong, which is the snails that you saw us try earlier just to make sure they were done. We're going for another one of them here. I think we are. <laughs> oh, there it is. So you got this like 
gorgeous meaty snail. It's got a really nice kind of savoriness to it. And then it's just it bathed in this beautiful chili curry that she made and they're just swimming in it and it's delicious. Oh my, that is awesome. These are so good. The chilies are happening with it. Uh, the curry that she made up that she simmered the whole thing in. It's just beautiful. Classic chicken satay. Oh my gosh. Come on. Chicken is so tender. And then it's got like this thick, rich, beautiful peanutty sauce. Ah. Oh my lord. Oh my god. That is delicious. That is the best chicken satay I've ever oh had. Oh my god, are you serious right now? I'm gonna give a try to this Jenna Hawk Bakar, which is uh, a grilled snapper. It comes with this beautiful sauce made of like desiccated coconut as well as like onions and a ton of other aromatics. This is right up my alley. This is ridiculous. Like every dish I put into my mouth that she's making is out of this world. <laughs> I'm so good. First, the fish itself. So flaky, so fresh, but the sauce, which which Kak Ayu described as a like a local style salsa, that coconutty and those aromatics in it just takes it over the top, amazing. And this is Karabu Karang, and it's a cockerel salad. Wow, it's got the stinky beans in it. So you've got that, that bitterness from the stinky beans and from the red onions, and then you've got this freshness from the ginger flower nice meaty savoriness from the cockerels this is like just a beautiful complex seafood salad ah. that is beautiful the ginger flour you can taste every bit of it in there the cockerels are gorgeous the onions everything the whole thing is just beautiful oh yeah we're struggling with the local name for this Daging. Harimau Manangnes. <laughs> they're behind the camera going, yeah, you did it. I doubt I did. I think they're just being kind. Comes with this beautiful sauce. It's a uh, beef brisket. You can't go wrong with beef brisket. But these sauces that Kakayu makes just bring everything up to an entirely different level. Insanely good. Oh God. There's this perfect little char to it. Oh wow. And this is the roti jalan that Kakayu just made in the kitchen. Um, it's so beautiful. Uh, jalan means net, right? And you can see why because it's got this beautiful laciness to it. Comes with its own special curry dipping sauce. Oh, and look at all those pieces of net just kind of like soak up and hold all the sauce onto it. That is so good. It's got like an entirely different texture from any kind of roti that you're gonna try. And it just holds all of this beautiful curry sauce into it. Like I said, Kakayu makes the best sauces. Mm. Are you kidding me right now? Kak Ayu is an absolute genius. This is insane. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. Finishing off here with this crab. We're gonna try and... Oh, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just digging in with my hands, 
big I chunk am. of crab meat, that curry, the rice. Oh my god. That's why I wanted to sum that up so that I can. I want a piece of the yeah. curry. <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh wow, that sauce is unbelievable. That crab meat <laughs> is sweet, and the sauce is spicy. Oh, that's delicious. Wow, Hak Ayu is truly a culinary genius. Like, she is, is a genius. This is unbelievable. Some people cook straight from the heart showing you who they are through the food they cook. I use cooking honors her childhood memories while also looking forward to the future with a new and flourishing business for her and her family. In our eyes, the sky's the limit for this iconic chef. Sadly, our time in Malaysia is winding down. The last four months here have introduced us to so much food that we have fallen in love with. Next week, we list 15 of our absolute favorite dishes we had in Malaysia. Will your favorite make the list? Make sure you subscribe and turn on those notifications to tune in next week to find out.